Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you today? I hope you will be enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That's an English for grade 5. And we are learning unit number 7. And its title is Climate Change. Yes, my dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given below. You may click it, download it, or you can amend it for your ease. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Our today's lecture, lecture number six, we will read about tables and charts. So this is an amazing lecture today, my dear students. We are going to enjoy a lot of. So before in English for grade three already, you have learned about tables and charts, class timetables and specific information we have already learned. I hope you remember it. If you may not, on page number 37, there is a video lecture. So you can watch this video lecture again. Our today's student learning outcome is read tables and charts in textbooks. Okay. Yes, my dear students, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Al-Quran, Surah An-Nisa, verse number 58. Indeed, Allah raised him up toward himself and Allah is almighty, all wise. So, yes, my dear students, this beautiful verse is telling us about that Allah raised him up towards himself raised him up to whom he wills okay himself means to allah almighty toward allah almighty this himself is referred to allah almighty is it clear that allah raised those people to whom allah wills okay so this is a beautiful verse that we should always pray to almighty allah that allah almighty also wills that he might raise toward him. Amen. Okay. So, yes, my dear students, classroom charts. So, take a look in your class. Look around your class. Okay, my dear students, look around your class and see there how many charts, how many timetables you can find in your class. You have few winners. Perform this activity. Count charts and which type of charts are there and inform to your teacher. Pause the video and get this activity in your class. Welcome back. I hope you have counted and you have seen that how many charts are there. Good job. Let's see what are charts and what are their purpose. Chart is a useful way to represent and display information or instructions, especially in a classroom. It can range from a large wall chart to a single piece of paper. Okay, what is a chart? So already you have seen in your class that different charts are there that many types of charts are there that giving us a specific information that what we have to do some charts tell us rules that how we have to sit in our class how we have to behave with each other some charts tell us about manners so you can also watch in your class okay so let's see example is there yes few charts are there that they will tell about class rules that how you have to sit how you have to work you have to work with team and how you have to listen you have to listen others carefully so many types of charts are there so one chart you can find there like classroom rules and under you can see that there is also a chart and it is also giving us a message my dear students these charts are very important these are not just for that they are hanging on the wall no they have some purposes okay so which purpose now you can judge that which purpose this chart is showing definitely it is that like save the water okay we have to save even a single drop of water okay as as we know that it is a basic need human need for life water so we have to save it this chart is also giving us this message so next one see there when to wash your hand there is another chart that this chart is giving us a message that when it is compulsory that we have to wash our hand when we have when you get home, after you go to the bathroom, after you play with pets, after you sneeze or cough, before you eat, after you play outside, different are there that when we have to, now we can get that. So this is a purpose of also, this is a purpose that this chart is also not useless that, that this is just for a decoration. No, my dear students. So all charts have a purposes and you have to find it. Okay. So have you got that? So see there that these charts in previous you can see they are simple charts a piece of paper and there is another chart that is 
complete wall there is this chart look that this is a complete wall and it's also everything is there got it so in this way our classes are decorated and also giving us some message these charts giving us some message that how we have to perform how we have to live and how we have to behave with each other during classroom at school okay got it so yes what are tables and timetables table is an arrangement of information or data typically in rows and columns two things are there always we can find in a table rows and columns we can get data there so see there you can see this is called rows and in the shape of column in this way okay now let's see what are rows and what is a column rows are a group of cells arranged horizontally okay like this this is a rows okay this is a row my dear students and these are arranged horizontally and what is a column columns are a group of cells arranged vertically and they run from top to bottom okay see there yes now you can again see that there is horizontal line my dear students and this is called row and this is can see column is vertical lines are there is it clear that in this way we can get a table so what now we are moving towards an activity so yes my dear students what you have to do on question number 10 on your book you can find read the given chart of classroom rules aloud so what you have to do you have to read this chart 10 sentences are there you have to read this chart aloud in your class one by one okay and try to get what this chart is giving you which type of manners you can get pause the video and perform this activity in your class welcome back and i hope now you have got that how you have to move how you have to behave in your class this is so beautiful manners are there and these are so nice way that we can get in a nice way so what's your homework for today read an article on coronavirus given on page number 56 and prepare a speech and get signature from your parents so what you have to do there is on page number 6 56 there is an article about coronavirus so that there is a question number nine you have to do so you will discuss this with each other you will prepare speech at home after preparing speech you will get signature from your teacher from your parents and tomorrow next day in your class you have to give this speech in front of your class okay this is your task for today so there is a worksheet my dear teachers about tables and charts so you can see that this worksheet will give you more knowledge about tables and chart this worksheet you should give it to students and then get that how they can divide their concept into tables and charts so what we have learned today today we learned about tables charts and their arrangements how tables and charts are arranged vertically and horizontally together so see there what we have got now we have covered up our this slo excellent job and we have done with it so I hope you have enjoyed today's lecture my dear students. I hope tomorrow with a new lecture. See you soon inshallah. Till that time stay blessed. Allah Hafiz. Thank you so much.